Do you sit like a nerd? If you're like me, then you probably spend way too much time sitting in front of a computer screen every single day. And if you do, you're probably not sitting upright with perfect posture all day. And I was like this for a long time. Every once in a while, I would get inspired by, I don't know, reading a Reddit thread telling you how important proper posture is. And then I would straighten up and sit straight for about five minutes. And then after five minutes, I just got lazy again and just slouched over like usual. And you probably heard a hundred times how important proper posture is. Your mom has probably yelled at you before telling you to sit up straight. And I'm not going to lecture you in this video, but I had some problems for a long time that were caused by just improper sitting posture. So whenever I was sitting at my computer for long periods, I would just have back pain, neck pain, and I never had anything debilitating. Like if you read online, you will hear stories about people who just have debilitating back pain, debilitating wrist pain from years of bad posture sitting at a computer. And the way that these people talk, you would think that they're elderly, the way that they're complaining about their back and all of these other issues. But most of the time, they're usually just 25 year old people that cause these problems by never learning how to have proper posture. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how I solve these issues for myself. This is how I fix my back pain. And even if you don't have any pain right now, it's a good idea to learn this earlier rather than later. So you don't end up completely hunched over and bent over by the time you're older. And I'm not going to cite a whole bunch of studies and scientific papers in this video. I'm just going to basically go over my personal experience, what worked for you, and hopefully it will work for you as well. But from talking to other people and reading other people's stories, it sounds like this will solve most people's problems. And fixing your sitting posture will also affect your standing posture as well. So for me personally, for a long time, I had this weird condition called anterior pelvic tilt, which is something that you can get after sitting in a computer chair for a long time. And it basically made me look like Donald Duck. So my stomach was sticking out all the time and my butt was sticking out. And it's just a really unattractive posture to have. And it was only after I did this that I was able to fix that as well. And I'm not going to go over anything too complicated or convoluted. I'm going to go over some simple solutions that you can do to fix this because that's what did it for me. And so first things first, the most important thing is to put your computer screen at the right height. So I think this is the easiest fix and it's going to make the biggest difference, especially if you're at a laptop. What you're doing all day is just hunching over your laptop in order to see it. And so what you want to do is you just want to prop your laptop up. And so the top of your computer screen should be at the same level as your eye line. So you should be able to look forward straight ahead and see the top of your computer screen. And you don't even need to buy anything fancy. You can just put some books under your computer, under your laptop or under your computer monitor, and that will immediately fix that problem. And the thing is, whenever you bring up the height of your computer screen, it actually makes it easy to stay upright. So whenever the computer is so high, it's going to seem like impossibly high at first. But the thing is, whenever it's so high, it's going to be actually uncomfortable to slouch down because you can't actually see your computer screen. And so the only way that you can actually see your computer screen clearly is to sit up straight. So it makes reminding yourself to have good posture almost automatic. And if you want, you can get a computer stand. I have this one that I personally recommend and I like it because it can fold up and you can put it in a backpack if you're going out to work somewhere. And so I use this a lot. Sometimes I'll be working at a coffee shop and I'll pull out my laptop stand. Yeah, I'm one of those guys who goes to coffee shops and pulls out a million things and sets up his computer there. But it really does help. But of course, if you use a laptop and you set your computer height higher, then your keyboard is going to be way off the ground. And so the second biggest recommendation I would give you is to buy an external keyboard of some kind. I just have a cheap Bluetooth keyboard that I got online, but you can use anything. And of course, a computer mouse instead of your laptop's trackpad. And that's because whenever you sit, you also want to keep your arms at a 90 degree angle. This is going to give you less wrist pain and it's more of a natural position for your arms. So maybe if your chair is too low, you can just do something like put a pillow under your chair. Just so whenever your arms rest at your desk, they're close to a 90 degree angle. Some people claim that you need to go out and buy a thousand dollar office chair in order for perfect ergonomics. But I don't really believe this. At home, I just have this junky old chair that I've had forever. And if I go out to a coffee shop, you know that they don't always have the most perfect chairs for you to sit in. 
So if you want to, a better chair probably will make a difference, but it's probably not as big of a difference as you would think. Just doing these basic things first is going to make a much bigger impact than buying a different chair or a different mouse. I actually went and bought a $100 mouse before that's more ergonomic. Don't buy it, it was junk, it was a total scam. But now I'm just using this really basic mouse and it does the job for me. So you don't need to buy as many things as you think you do. The only thing that I think is really necessary if you're using a laptop is an external keyboard and mouse. And even when you're on your phone, if you use your phone a lot and you're always hunched over, try to bring the phone closer to your eye level. It's going to look really weird to other people when you're holding your phone straight out in front of you, but it really does help. And of course, the best phone posture is just to not use your phone as much, but that's a whole nother video. And another big issue that you'll probably have if you've been slouching or hunched over your whole life is that the muscles in your back and your neck that you actually need in order to sit up straight, they're going to be very weak. So the first time you probably sit up straight and you try to do it for a long time, it's going to be actually uncomfortable. You're not going to like it. And that's because the muscles in your back and neck are now for the first time actually having to hold your head up. And so if you've had bad computer posture for years, that probably means that your back and shoulder muscles have just atrophied. And so doing some kind of workout to strengthen your muscles is going to be extremely helpful. So in my case, I started going to the gym and doing things like deadlifts and pull-ups in order to strengthen my back. You don't have to go to the gym and become a bodybuilder, but I really do recommend it because it's going to strengthen your muscles and make it that much easier for you to sit up straight. Once your muscles are stronger, it's going to be a lot easier to sit up straight without any discomfort. And if you really don't want to go to the gym, you can do some exercises at home. I'm sure you can find these on YouTube. I don't need to specifically recommend some for you. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because I prefer going to the gym. But if that idea just sounds really unappealing to you, then you can do a whole bunch of exercises at home that will achieve similar results. And you can also find people that swear by stretching. I've heard of people that follow something like a 30 minute stretching routine every morning in order to alleviate their back pain. I don't really think this is necessary. I've never done it just because the idea of stretching for 30 minutes every morning just sounds completely unappealing to me. And I think strengthening your muscles is going to give you better results. And also whenever you're not sitting, just try to stand up straighter. So I didn't do any of the weird stretches that a lot of people tell you to do. What I did whenever I was standing up is I would just look in the mirror and like I said before, I had anterior pelvic tilt, so I could just see the improper posture in the mirror once I became aware of it. Before it just looked normal, I thought that was the way my body was made. But once you notice the improper posture whenever you're standing up, it just becomes extremely apparent. And so whenever I saw that, I would just try to stand up straighter. I would squeeze my core muscles and strengthen your core muscles will also help in this, of course. But I didn't really make any drastic changes in order to fix my standing posture. I just became more aware of my bad posture and I just fixed it whenever I noticed it. And now my posture is much better these days. I'm not going to say it's perfect 100% of the time, but it's much better than what it used to be. And whenever you're sitting at a computer, you also don't need to sit up perfectly straight all the time. It's okay to lean backwards a little bit and it's better to lean backwards than to lean forwards. So don't think that you constantly have to sit up completely straight like a board 100% of the day. That's just not practical. Your posture doesn't need to be 100% perfect all the time. I still lean over, lean back, and do all these other things. But as long as your posture is good most of the time, then it's not going to affect you. And finally, my last suggestion would just be to stop sitting for so long. So the longest I really sit at my computer in one sitting is about an hour. And about every hour or so, I try to stand up and take a walk around. I usually go outside and take like a five minute walk just down and up the street and then come back. And getting up and stretching your legs is going to make you feel a lot better. You're not going to be uncomfortable sitting so long. And I've actually done this so much now that just sitting at my computer for long periods is just uncomfortable for my body. Like if I sit for too long, my body will automatically tell me it needs to get up and move. But what a lot of people do is they set some kind of timer on their computer. I don't personally use this, but I have used this in the past. There's a whole bunch of different programs that you can use that will tell you to stand up every, I don't know, 40 to 60 minutes or so. And I'll leave a link to a few of these in the description. I haven't personally used them, but I'm sure you can find value out of some of them. And getting up and moving just feels good. 
Sometimes I'm working on a programming problem and just getting up and taking a walk for five minutes helps me clear my head and find the solution to it. So I do recommend doing that as much as possible. There's a million and one ways to do this. You can set a Pomodoro timer. I know a lot of people like to use that for productivity, but you can have it be your timer to take a break every 25 minutes or so. And that's how I fixed my problems. Now I don't have back pain or neck pain like I used to. And there's the added benefit of it just feels more comfortable once you get used to it to have proper posture throughout the day. So I highly recommend doing this as long as you can get over the initial discomfort of not using your muscles in so long. And so hopefully this video helped you out and now you can stop sitting like a nerd all the time.